Nice to see you again. In this video, I would like to present the basic steps for building a stone house in the high mountains. The construction of a stone house on a high mountain is a complex undertaking that requires a deep understanding of geology, engineering, and the local environment. The process involves a delicate balance between human ingenuity and the forces of nature. Site Selection and Preparation the first step is to select a suitable site. This involves a thorough geological survey to assess the stability of the mountainside. Factors such as soil composition, rock formations, and the history of landslides must be carefully considered. The site should offer adequate access for construction equipment and materials, while also providing the desired views and exposure. Once the site is selected, the area must be cleared of vegetation and debris. This involves careful planning to minimize environmental impact. The removal of topsoil may be necessary to expose the underlying bedrock. Stone procurement and preparation. The heart of a stone house is, of course, the stone itself. The type of stone used will depend on the local geology and the desired aesthetic. Common choices include granite, limestone, and sandstone. These stones are typically quarried from nearby sites to reduce transportation costs and environmental impact. Once extracted, the stones undergo a preparation process. This may involve splitting, shaping, and cutting to achieve the desired dimensions. The stones are then cleaned to remove impurities and prepare them for laying. Foundation Construction Building a foundation on a mountainside presents unique challenges due to the uneven terrain and potential instability. A reinforced concrete foundation is typically used to provide a stable base for the stone structure. The foundation must be designed to withstand the forces of gravity, wind, and potential earthquakes. Drainage is crucial to prevent water accumulation and erosion. A system of drains and gutters must be installed to divert water away from the foundation. Wall Construction Stone wall construction is a skilled craft. The stones are laid in courses, with each layer overlapping the one below for stability. The thickness of the walls will depend on the climate, with thicker walls providing better insulation. Mortar is used to bind the stones together. Traditional lime mortar is often preferred for its breathability and compatibility with stone. However, modern cement-based mortars may also be used, depending on the specific requirements of the project. To ensure the stability of the walls, a reinforced concrete frame is often embedded within the stonework. This frame provides additional structural support and helps to resist seismic forces. Roof Construction The roof of a mountain house must be designed to withstand heavy snow loads and strong winds. Traditional stone-built houses often feature a multi-pitched roof with a steep slope to prevent snow accumulation. The roofing material should be durable and weather-resistant. Slate or terracotta tiles are common choices. Metal roofing can also be used, but it may not be as aesthetically pleasing. Interior and Exterior Finishes Once the basic structure is complete, the interior and exterior finishes can be added. Stone flooring is a natural choice, but other materials such as wood or tile can also be used. Traditional plaster finishes can be applied to the interior walls, creating a smooth and warm surface. Wood paneling is another popular option. The exterior of the house can be left exposed to reveal the natural beauty of the stone or it can be treated with a protective coating to enhance its appearance and durability, utilities and amenities. Installing utilities in a remote mountain location can be challenging. Solar panels, wind turbines, or a combination of both can be used to generate electricity. Water supply may come from a well or a nearby spring. 
Heating and cooling systems must be carefully designed to minimize energy consumption. Insulation is crucial to reduce heat loss in winter and heat gain in summer. Landscaping and Integration The final stage involves landscaping the surrounding area. This includes creating terraces, retaining walls, and planting vegetation to stabilize the slope and enhance the aesthetic appeal of the house. The goal is to create a harmonious relationship between the building and its natural environment. The house should appear to grow out of the mountainside, rather than being imposed upon it. Building a stone house on a high mountain is a demanding but rewarding endeavor. It requires careful planning, skilled craftsmanship, and a deep respect for the natural environment. The result is a unique and enduring home that stands as a testament to human ingenuity and the power of nature. Thank you for watching video.